is the 2016 general season, well, general tag uh, muzzleloader hunt. Walker's got the buck tag, and we're up here looking for him a deer. Yeah, didn't get the normal rifle tag I usually get every year, so. Yeah, unsuccessful. This will be the first time mm -hmm. hunting with a muzzleloader. First time we actually even shot one was when we sighted the rifle in, yep. but super excited. We got a buck spotted. We named him Krabby. <laughs> He's cool, man. Like his fronts, when you look at him straight on, the fronts kind of curl like this. He's tall, um, he's got big back forks. He's just a really round basket type of frame. Yeah, real tall. Um, he's got good mass, but we found him scouting this year. We use his stealth cams. We put out four trail cameras and he hit two of them. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, we're like, that's it. That's like number one buck. So here we go, muzzleloader tag, it's first light. We just gotta get up here, um, hike in there a little bit and see if we can glass him up first and then make a move. So. Rookie muzzleloader hunters, but we are ready. <laughs> We're gonna go on stealthy and uh, it's gonna be fun. Can't wait. Can't wait, man. Let's, Let's get it. out there. We saw a lot of deer opening day, but we weren't able to pick up either of the two bigger bucks that we had scouted earlier in the season. The wind was starting to pick up and we can tell a storm was moving in, so we packed up and headed home and came back the next day. It was raining really hard all morning, so we skipped the morning hunt and we packed up for the evening hunt in hopes to turn up the big buck that we'd been hunting for. Well, we're back at it again for a evening hunt. The last couple days have been slow. I mean, super windy. Rainstorm came by, actually put some snow on the top of the Utah mountains. On our hike up here, we got drenched. It was super wet. And it just looked like the west was clear sky, so we knew if it blew over, we'd have an awesome night. And uh, tonight, is turning out to be easily the best night at 4 30 it's about five now but at 4 30 as soon as the storm blew out and the sun started shining the deer started moving everywhere we've seen eight bucks already locker on the back the binos and the scope he's been doing a good job of picking them out and i'm really proud of him for doing that little brother pretty cool seeing him uh you know spotting deer and, and doing everything on his own we're both glassing, we're both looking for one particular buck, really. Big four point. We saw him earlier this summer. He hit our trail camera, so we're really trying to find him, but we just haven't been able to locate him. Thinking he may have moved, so that's why we're just high right now. We're at a really good lookout, and we're just kind of in locating mode. Oh my gosh. All the glassing, hiking, being in the rain, being freezing cold, just paid off. I'm like 95% sure that I just glassed the number one buck that we're after. I'm pretty sure it's the same buck that we've been looking for, Walker's number one buck. Mr. Krabs. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's calling him Mr. Krabs because the front forks come out like that in front of him. He is a long ways away. Yeah, he he's not very far from where he summers, which is right around this general area. But uh, we're gonna have a hunt tomorrow morning. If we play it right, we can find him at first light tomorrow morning and get on him. Yeah, just knowing where he's at is a huge advantage, man. Oh, Excited dude, locating this buck, guys. We knew he had moved. He wasn't in the area. We'd seen all his buddies he'd been hanging out with. We knew we had to locate him. I told Walker if this rainstorm clears up tonight, it's the night we're going to find deer. And sure enough, we've seen over a dozen bucks tonight. Yeah, today was fun, man. Glassing them up. That was it's awesome. It's way fun, huh? Yeah. So here we go, guys. We, there's no way that we're getting to him tonight. It's just about last shooting light right now, or almost. But finding him is huge. Now that we know where he is, we can make a play on him in the morning. And I don't think he's going to move very far tonight, hopefully. Yeah. Gosh, I want to see that deer. Tomorrow is supposed to be good weather. So uh, that's a game plan is, is get way over there and at first light we'll be right on him. and locate him. Well, we got up here at first light. Good thing we came early because 
we found our number one buck right on the top of the ridge and uh, he wasn't out for 10 minutes and laid down. So we've got him bedded, a couple small bucks above him, another group of about five bucks above them, which we I'd prefer to get higher, but there's just too many deer up there to mess with. So uh, we're going in from the bottom up. We should get about 200 yards. It's gonna be really tough to see him. We're definitely not gonna be able to see him bedded until, so we're gonna have to wait for him to stand up. But we just worked our way through this oak brush jungle yeah, Getting up high. Walker, you ready? Yeah, man, I can't wait to see him. I gotta sneak up this backbone. I get up here and try to get within 200 yards to get Walker a shot with a muzzleloader. Here we go. Hey Walker, here it comes. Ready? I'm ready. Dropped him, dude. Oh, oh. Baby, yes! Yes! Hold on, get here, reload. Holy cow, 120 yards, that buck stood up. Oh my gosh. Finally turned broadside and gave Walker a shot, and I saw him tumble. Dude, my feet are dead from sitting there for so long. I know. Crank that thing down. All right, guys, we're gonna make sure he's down, but we're reloading just in case. Oh my God. Dude, I think you dumped him, man. I think you dumped him. I was right on him, dude. <laughs> you just shot the number one buck we've been looking for this yeah. entire hunt. The first, the buck we saw on the trail cam, man, the biggest one we've seen <laughs> the whole trip, and he is down. <laughs> he's down, man. Guys, we oh. sat here. That is probably the most patient that me and Walker, de it's definitely the most patient we have ever had to be while hunting together. Sure. I've been on all Walker's hunts. He's killed some great bucks on general season tags. He couldn't get a tag this year, so we pulled him up. We got a leftover muzzy tag. <laughs> and we just waited hours and hours and hours just literally looking at this this buck's antlers. Yeah. Walker says, Eric, Eric. I'm, I'm like, what? And he didn't answer. And I was like, he He's must be up. up. So <laughs> I got the camera rolling. Um, we needed the buck to turn left. Sure enough, he did. And Perfect. I told Walker, I'm ready when you are. Walker put it on his shoulder and dropped him, literally dropped him in the screen. Oh, so exciting, man. First muzzle hunter buck, man. Yeah, first time Come shooting here, man. muzzy. I can't wait to go see him, dude. Oh, he did it. He did it again, oh, guys. Yes. This is the first buck that he, we've ever killed with the muzzle loader. Gotta say thanks to Bridget oh, yeah. for spotting for us. She was over there all day looking at him in the scope, making sure he didn't move. And when he stood up, she'd tell us. And 
it finally paid off, man. That was really cool. Yeah, that helped a lot. Thanks, Bridget. <laughs> Just getting down to where the buck was bedded. Right here. Look at this. Buck was bedded right here a little bit. And right here. That's where he's been. Holy cow. Took a tumble down the hill. Walker, there he is. I see him. Dude, he's piled up, buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's piled up, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I just want to say thank you for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was easily one of my favorite hunts of 2016. I always have a good time hunting with my little brother. Can't wait to get the buck back from the taxidermist and somehow try to find room on the barnwood wall for him. But just remember, here in 2017, we're doing videos every Sunday, every Tuesday, and the Hush Life vlog every Thursday. So if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe.